What fake thing that happens in movies s you off? Digging graves in wooded areas. There are iron roots everywhere. You can't dig a 6 foot grave with a pair of shovels in an hour. That takes time. 1. Where a witness confesses on the stand 2. There's sudden surprise prosecution evidence 3. Witnesses monologuing on the stand 4. Minimal hearsay objections. 5. So much forensic evidence. Drives me batty. Mafia guys. Mobsters or hitmen. People who are in the business of killing people and disappearing inconveniences are intentionally clumsy or stupid when it comes to kill the protagonist. No double tap. Overcomplicated killing. Taking their sweet time. Not putting more than one or two henchmen for a particularly dangerous hostage. After a hit to the head or being knocked unconscious. People are fine after a minute. Concussions don't seem to exist in movies. When someone throws a grenade into a building and the whole building blows up. Grenades in movies either destroy everything in a mile radius or they are the equivalent of light shove. There is no in between. Shooting the monitor is a way of stopping the computer. Alright let me tell you the good news. We don't need the monitor. Fire. Lava. Etc. Has no heat people can be suspended over a volcano. Or in the case of the Hobbit. Surf on molten metal and no one gets so much as a blister. Add to this. Characters falling into the lava and sinking like it's just glowing yellow pudding. Setting aside that they'd probably actually burst into flame and steam on contact, if not before. Lava still has the density of rock. You ain't gonna sink into that. The fresh out of college student scoring a great apartment in a swanky part of town while working minimum wage job for themselves. In reality. You'd have 4 roommates for such a place. Or you're living in a dump in a bad part of town. Whenever some idiot is running on foot while being chased by a car that's trying to run them down. They without fail always run straight down the middle of the street. When all they have to do is simply run off to the side where there's trees and lampposts and plenty of other to block them from getting hit. In that case. I always root for whoever's driving. People sneaking around inside air ducts. Don't get me wrong. In big buildings you absolutely can walk around in there. I've done it a lot. But. 1. They're dirty as sin. Not gleaming metal. 2. There are screws poking in there and sharp edges everywhere. 3. There are lots of barriers to movement. Fans. Filters. Humidifiers. Dampers and fire dampers. All of those would stop your progress. 4. It's not a quiet process. Hacking anything in seconds. I'm accessing the mainframe to open the security doors for you. Clickety clack click click clickety click rapidly. I'm in. Other guy. You really are the best hacker. Ha. Huh. Oh. I didn't hack it. I just typed admin in both the login and password fields. Must places never change that. Movie depictions of childbirth are often ridiculously wrong. They make it look so easy. Quick. And clean. This is not the case. The baby comes out clean and 3 months old. My kid came out of a cut in my wife's stomach. 9. 5 pounds and looked like a screaming bloody fat purple sumo wrestler. Seeing my wife with her stomach open like that has been scarred into my mind. I'm glad she had the screen and couldn't see. Homes are always spotless and ridiculously large. And inhabited by people who were taken from House Hunter Central Casting. She is a part-time kindergarten teaching assistant. He plays the tambourine in a Fleetwood Mac cover band. Their budget is 12 million dollars. The old out of the blue intentional T-bone car accident. Like the bad guy is psychic and knew when and where to be. And is totally immune to the flow of traffic so they could time it just right to T-bone someone in an intersection. Absurd. Not to mention it never seems to actually succeed in causing the death of the intended victim. Nor does the bad guy ever seem to get injured at all. When they give a person CPR and the person walks away unscathed. When you give proper CPR. You are essentially breaking ribs to pump the heart and sure. 
It doesn't happen to everyone but still see a doc after. That. And anything medically related like EP pens being used then magically all normal. All of these require being looked at a doctor emergency care directly afterward. How terrible the bad guys are at shooting. Are people shooting at you? Take cover behind. Anything. Car doors. Drywall. Couches. Tables. Cardboard boxes. It doesn't matter. Everything is bulletproof. That a sample can be DNA processed in 2 minutes so you know who your killer is. On Lucifer. It's so over the top. I'm not even mad. A CSI chick will be standing over the body at the crime scene and tell them what the lab results were. I know it's the most common one but since it hasn't been mentioned yet. I'll mention it. Gun reloads, or lack thereof, and the insane amount of ammunition the protagonist is carrying. Edit. Guys come on everyone's been commenting the same reply of how John Wick doesn't fall under this criteria for the past 24 hours. I know okay. The member of the group that sacrifices themselves for no reason. Go on without me. I'll never make it. Yes you will. I'll carry you. No. Seriously. Go on. The writer needs me to die here so that I'm not with you guys when you need me later or so that you can use me as os I would have wanted you to. Acting like an easily removable piece of duct tape silences someone. Slight inconveniences that could easily be solved that are the main conflict of the movie. Gift wrapping the box and the lid separately. I mean. I get why they do it, multiple takes. But it always sticks out to me. Also. Every bag of groceries has French bread. Setting off fire alarm fire sprinklers. 1. Purling a fire alarm will not activate fire sprinklers. 2. Setting off a single sprinkler head will not set off the entire system. Each fire sprinkler has either a glass bulb with heat sensitive liquid or a metal fusible link. You need to essentially break the bulk link on each individual sprinkler to allow the water to flow. 3. The water leaving the sprinkler system will be black from the years of corrosion that occurs inside due to the stagnant water. You do not want to be around this water when it comes out. I designed these systems. I know how this works. That everyone in a Tom Cruise movie is the same height or shorter than him. Bad science talk in general. Quantum nanotechnology. Every time a car drives off stops there's a sound of tires screeching. In British soaps, which are e in general, everyone goes to the pub every day but no one ever gets drunk. They also order a pint. Take one sip and then just leave. EMT's doctor's random hero person using a defibrillator on a person that has flatlined. That is not how it works. You shock a flatline and all you do is make the patient even more dead. Flatliners get drugs to get their hearts beating. And then get shocked if that beat is abnormal. Comma all you do is make the patient even more dead. He's dead. Jim. it. Make him more dead. Rubs paddles. Clear. Neck breaking for an easy or quick kill. I'm getting sick of it. When the plot necessitates the protagonist to be unconscious for several hours due to a blow to the head. Then he she just regains consciousness. Shakes their head a few times. And is back to normal. I've had several concussions from sports in my life. And only one where I lost consciousness. And that was for maybe several seconds. For that one I spent weeks fighting nausea. Headaches. And vision problems. My mood was impacted for months. There's no way I could just get up and start kicking ass after being out for several hours. Any scene where chloroform knocks someone out in 2 seconds. I feel like Rio officially has gone too far. It takes at least 5 minutes and the dose difference between asleep and dead is really slim. Romantic dramas. Some stupid miscommunication that could have been resolved with 5 minutes of conversation and a phone call turns into some feature length ball. The movie situation. Girl walks in on boyfriend hugging another girl. Girl. I can't believe you'd cheat on me. I hate you. Boy. Wait. I can explain. 
girl. Don't bother. I hate you and never want to see you again. Cue 2 hours of cute romantic comedy hijinks. Asterisk. The real situation. Girl walks in on boyfriend hugging another girl. Girl. I can't believe you'd cheat on me. I hate you. Boy. Um. This is my sister. Girl. Oh. God. Sorry. Cue credits. Let me kill all the bad guys to prove my innocence. Kill an army of mooks. But you can't kill the bad guy with a name because my cycle of revenge would be just like him. Women's hair is always perfect after a crazy action sequence. They're also wearing heels all the time. No matter what crazy stunts they're doing. Drowning revivals. Victim is pulled. Blue. From the water. Couple of chest compressions. Hero through gritted teeth says don't you die on me goddammit. Small arc of water shoots from the mouth of the victim as they cough twice and immediately regain consciousness. Sit up and ask what happened. Semicolon. Alright. It's not the chest compressions that do it. It's the unconscious. Possibly dead. Person hearing don't you die on me. Damn it. That really brings them back to life. Medical fact. Guys who get rejected and then stalk the girl and win her over at the end of the movie. Rom-com protagonist. I love her. But she doesn't love me back. Rom-com friend. Have you tried being really annoying and creepy? Hackers in movies. Enters a few keystrokes. I'm in. Firing guns in enclosed spaces not deafening anyone. Doesn't me off. But as a paraplegic whenever someone in a movie is supposed to be disabled and they're using some type fold up wheelchair that you would see in a hospital or Walmart. Anyone who lives in a wheelchair and has some minimal insurance or medical assistance would have a much better chair. I'm currently sitting with about $4,000 under my ass. Paid about $500 after insurance. The only time someone would be using one of those tie wheelchairs would be if they were recently injured or are temporarily injured. Oh si zoom in on that. Can you make it clearer? Oh si. Oh si sure. No problem oh si. When they take a drink out of an obviously empty cup and don't even bother pretending to swallow the drink. Is it so hard to just have some water in the cup? All the incorrect. Blatantly incorrect physics. The phone rings and the actor picks up the handset. Listens for 2 seconds. Oh really? One second later. When? One second later. I'll be right there. Hangs up without saying goodbye. The actor turns around and relays a 30 seconds of details that he just learned in only 4 seconds. In action movies. The hero. Often alone faces an army of elite trained veterans armed to the teeth but they can't seem to know how to shoot. Take cover. And why are they taking turns to get their asses kicked? Just stomp the mother -er. When an actor clearly has no idea how to play the instrument they're holding. They don't have to be an expert. But Christ someone show them where their fingers are supposed to go. Stop focusing the shot on their fingers. Flipped very well in School of Rock where Jack Black is an accomplished musician. And the kids in the band really did play their instruments sang. Turning on the TV at the exact moment a relevant news report starts. Turn on the TV. What channel? Any channel. When someone is driving and they look away from the road by looking at the person in the passenger seat for a prolonged amount of time. Or when they are constantly turning the wheel and the car doesn't move. College professors being shown living in giant Victorian houses with massive libraries. I used to be a professor. And can confirm that the pay isn't that good. When people fall in love and decide to spend together the rest of their lives after spending 5 minutes together. When watching a show with intelligence operatives or some top secret command facility. Everyone has bluetooth earbuds and are handing each other classified files on USB sticks. In reality bringing wireless devices and portable media like that into a top secret classified facility would be punishable by up to 5 years in prison. 
a hot model falls in love with a nerdy guy because he's the only guy in the world who's nice to her. Everybody being conventionally attractive and just waking up like this even in a war zone. The doorbell rings and someone answers almost immediately. There is a delicious breakfast on the table. But everyone grabs a piece of bread and runs off to work. Comma there is a delicious breakfast on the table. But everyone grabs a piece of bread and runs off to work. Also. It's filmed at about 10am. With the sun fully up. And half the family has been awake for 2 hours. Besides the teenager who wakes up right before running out the door. During most of the school year in most of the US. Or getting up at or before dawn. And the sun will still be visibly rising when you get to school. People giving insulin to a diabetic who is crashing. This s me off because it's the wrong thing to do and it perpetuates a dangerous way of thinking in people that aren't familiar with diabetes. In SX scenes when no one struggles to get their clothes off. No fumbling. There are no awkward bodily sounds. It's just perfect for play and SX. Come on. Plan ahead and just wear a tear away jumpsuit at all times. No one wants to have SX with me. I think it might be the jumpsuit. But if and when the time comes. I'll be ready. The hammer cocking sound when the character is holding a striker fired pistol. Racking the slide of a pump action shotgun after the character is aiming it at someone in a life death situation. And no live round ejects. Dumbass. You were aiming an empty weapon at someone. Lol. No matter if someone is punched or stabbed or shot. They go down in one hit unless they are a main character. No pain. Moaning or groaning. Nor. Just conveniently down and quiet so as not to steal attention. No one ever says goodbye on the phone. Pretty much any movie or TV show that takes place in a high school. The protagonists are always skipping class in the middle of the day in order to go on some grand adventure to find themselves, or investigate a crime that the police can't solve, or to explore a spooky graveyard, etc. YMMV based on genre. Close bracket. Even worse is when the protagonists all decide to meet in the library during the middle of the school day in order to have the serious talk they need to have. Teachers and other students are always milling about in the background and none of them notice the group of students skipping class. Asterisk. Also. Don't get me started on the high school freshman played by a 22 year old actor who needs to shave every day. I swear. No one who works in Hollywood has ever actually been in a high school. When a computer is being hacked. We can't cut the cable. That's the last resort. Pulling out the network cable is step one. You don't even need to cut it. When the brilliant detective can solve the Cassiasa but only if someone is willing to repeat the random thing they just said. Semicolon. Comma friend. I just had diarrhea. So I think I'm going to head out, detective. Wait. Say that again. Comma friend. Ha. Huh. Comma detective. What you just said. I need you to say it again. Comma friend. Uh, okay. I just had diarrhea. So I'm going to head out. Comma detective. That's it. Her diary. That's what's going to lead us straight to MRS. Hamersham's missing head. Comma friend. So I'm gonna go. Girls unexpectedly starting their periods and they made it super dramatic. Like they'll be at school or something and all of a sudden they start bleeding out from their crotch like someone just stabbed them and they're just sitting there like they have no idea. And everyone around them notices and it's whole embarrassing mess. Like no. That's not a thing. It's very unrealistic. Having accidents and spotting is a thing. But not like they make it in the movies. The lack of reloading and shooting scenes. Especially when the characters is using a handgun where, I think, the average bullet capacity is 6. You should have ran out of bullets 7 shots ago reload goddamn it. Also when using a defibrillator on someone more than once and everybody just sits around. It takes around 30 seconds for those things to recharge and you should be doing CPR in between. Edit to everyone telling me the actual capacity of a handgun it's very much appreciated. 
simultaneous org SMS every single time. Using the heart defibrillator when person has a straight ECG line no pulse. High explosives producing a large. Slow fireball. When they take cover behind a car door. Acting like a woman is gross because she is a nerd by wearing glasses and a pigtail. All courtroom scenes are so unnecessarily dramatic and far-fetched. As a lawyer. I hate watching them. Also in TV. Part of the drama is a woman giving birth in some place that isn't the maternity ward of a hospital. A mother gives birth to a healthy child who is at least 3 months old. People in real life use toothpaste when brushing their teeth. Somehow there is always a parking spot in front of the building you need to go in. All building ventilation shafts are man sized. Most high school kids do not call other high school kids by their last name. Hey. Johnson. Gonna beat you up after class. Need a vital piece of information to solve a case. A convenient newscast will tell you about it. A shot from a 38 special will not knock you 20 feet backwards. And the Chekhov's gun is always so obvious. Main character gets a job in mall security. Early on there's a display of a motorcycle. Yup. He's definitely going to chase someone. Or run away from someone. On that same motorcycle in about 20 minutes. All these women that keep their bras on during SX scenes. It's so unreal because everyone knows that even if a bloke has seen your boobs 20. 000 times before he's still not going to pass up another chance to take a gander. When parents never have their baby with them and make no mention of a babysitter. Those mfas follow you around like crazy. Being able to leave the house alone like it's nothing? Absurd. A woman on the run with dark brown black hair goes into the bathroom for 30 minutes and emerges with perfect light blonde hair using box color. Carrying empty suitcases. Pulling the hammer back on a semi-automatic pistol. Seriously. What difference is that going to make? Continuity. How polished and in shape everybody is. Such as first responders. And how their uniforms are always flattering and perfectly fit. How people in Nikola SF and so on work jobs that really don't pay much. Yet live in these giant. Nice. Nobody says goodbye on the phone. They just hang up. When the bully gives a speech to their bullies. And the bullies listen in silence. I roll bullies roll their eyes. Pace around avoiding eye contact. Yell over the person often with insults. And refuse to listen to what the other has to say. No matter how right it is. Elevator mechanic here. All of it. It's all wrong all the time. Every car chase people have the skill of a movie stunt driver. Something like 99% of people would wreck on the first or second turn at speed. At least sideswipe a car or something to make it remotely believable. Bullying being seen as just an inconvenience as opposed to a huge issue. What do you mean? All bullies actually have a heart of gold and the bullied kid never has any mental trauma after years of being abused. Best friends forever. Two tall ships with the wind behind then cannot sail directly at each other. I'm looking at you Jack Sparrow. Sail tall ships. Magical cures. We all know that all disabilities and chronic illnesses are cured the instant someone falls in love with us. Right? That's why Ahamoni opened all those hospitals. Love cures everything. Don't forget mental illnesses are removed in a week or less or your money back. People order food or drink in a restaurant. Get the food. Never touch it and decide it's time to go. Horror movie serial killers all having some obscure mental illness. Reality check. Less than about 3% of those scary killers have any mental illness. People with mental illness are far more likely to fall into the category of abuse victims. I think one could reasonably argue that a serial killer who wears a mask to ritually murder is not really on the top of their game. Mental health wise. When a character gets a full cup of a drink with a straw and they sip and it makes a slurping noise. Drinking through a straw doesn't make a slurping sound until the near end of the drink. 
when the conflict could be easily solved if the two characters communicated better. Cannot stand how everything always has to come down to the last goddamn second. Motorcycles. They are distinct engine sounds. Generally you have two. Three and four cylinder motorcycles and each engine configuration has a different sound. Seeing a Hollywood star tearing up a city on a hyper naked but hearing the sound of a Harley V twin pulls me right out of it. Massive blow to the head. Hero is knocked out for hours. Gets up. You okay? Hero? I'm fine. Let's go fight the bad guy. The actors seem to never have to use the toilet or shave their legs. Yes. That and after weeks of trying to survive the bomb zombies whatever the women all have shaved armpits and legs. And the men's beards have permanently stuck at rugged 5 o'clock shadow. When a character has depression but clearly the director or actor doesn't know what depression looks like. It's not just being sad all the time, I'm looking at you. In Kindergarten Cop. Arnold needs to speak with a teacher in the hall. She hands a lesson book to an 8 year old who proceeds to read to the class a very boring lesson on bowels. As if teaching is so easy that any 8 year old could do it immediately and successfully. You can probably guess I'm a teacher. Horses constantly making noise. Neighing etc. Horses rarely make any noise. Due to being a prey animal. Yet in movies. The Urs have full blown as conversations with themselves. Constantly. Source. Own seven horses. E. When there's a big fight scene and all the bad guys attack the protagonist one at a time whilst the rest just stand at the side. If you wanna win. All attack at once. Any and all sibling dynamics in movies. Hey bro. Hey sis. Is not a conversation siblings have. I have ten siblings and rarely do we even acknowledge each other. And never like that. When I predict what will happen and I get every bit of it right. Women in combat situations. The first thing you'd do is tie your iron hair back. The walking dead s me off about this so goddamn much. Ever mind tying your hair back, I'd be hacking that off both me and my kids. Never mind walking around with past the shoulder loose hair constantly. Goddamn. Also all those shaved armpits. PFFT. Candles. Who lit all those candles and who goes and puts them out? Every hero has expert level of marksmanship. Including being accurate with a pistol at insane distances like 50 plus yards. Something that's only started to annoy me recently is when characters suddenly turn around to watch a news announcement. Or something else on TV. When it was clear it didn't have the sound on beforehand. And they're tuning in at the perfect time. Broken physics. In space. For example. Inconsistent gravity. Sound in a vacuum. Lack of radiation where there would be. Etc. Tactical discrepancies. For example. And trained civilians shooting at marksman level. Spec ops teams behaving like stormtroopers. Can't shoot. Flag each other constantly. Etc. Comma. Unreasonably indestructible cover. Etc. Inadequate scavenging. In survival situations. Self-explanatory. Inconsistent use of superpowers. In obvious scenarios. For problem solving. Again. Self-explanatory. I could go on.